Now, let me explain this cosine similarity um, to you so that you get to understand what that means. All right. So for the cosine similarity, this is how it works. Now, let me even start with um, Euclidean distance. So cosine similarity is nothing but a distance measure. Okay. It's a distance measure. If you remember um, in, our, in our previous machine learning class, we talked about the various distance measures okay and we mentioned cosine similarity over there right now uh, one of the I mean distance measures that we, we we talked about was Euclidean distance okay we talked about Euclidean distance okay so if you take if you take that Euclidean distance for instance right and I said that you want to remember that we are saying that we in in content base we recommend items that are closer to each other okay or that to look alike Okay, so if um, depending on how similar the items are, they are, we're going to have some kind of a number associated to them so that we'll be able to measure how items are closer to each other. Okay, now for Euclidean distance, um, let's say that we have, we have this kind of data points, right? Let's say this is our data point. Okay, let's say we have two rows over there, right? We have row one row one and then we have row two okay so inside here we have some um data points in there all right so let's say in row one we have data point like two one um three four something like that row two let's say we have um data points like say um three four zero um two something like that okay now what euclidean distance is saying is that if you want to calculate the distance between row one and row two then you need to do something like this okay s2 minus x1 squared plus x uh, plus y2 y2 minus y1 squared okay and if you have um more points over there right then maybe you can have z1 minus z2 right squared and so on and so forth okay and so on and so forth so after that you find the root of that all right so that is uh, for euclidean distance so in this particular case if we if we take the example that we have right we're going to have something like say uh, if we represent this one with x1 and then this one with x2 okay so that's gonna be something like this um let me do it like that so that's gonna be something like this 3 minus 2 squared okay plus 4 minus 1 squared okay plus um, 0 minus 3 squared 0 minus 3 squared okay plus um, 2 minus 4 squared something like this okay then we find the root of all that now if we do this one we're gonna have something like um, 3 minus 2 squared you're gonna have 1 um, squared is still 1 right plus 4 minus um, 1 is going to give you 3 squared is going to give you 9 plus 0 minus 3 is going to give you minus 3 squared is going to give you 9 plus 2 minus um, 4 is going to give you 2 squared is going to give you 4 okay 4 all right so this is what we have then we find the root of that so this can give you something like um, 18 19 plus this one 23 so root 23 okay which can end up to something like um 4.7 something 79 something like that okay something like that now if uh, we do euclidean distance and we get something like this right we get something like four point um something like that now what is this actually telling us okay what is this actually telling us this one is telling us the distance between uh, row one and row two okay but this one does not give us the similarity between the two rows okay it's giving us the distance between the two rows but not the similarity between the two rows but in this case what we want is the similarity okay because we want if we use our watch one um i mean or read one um i mean article we want to see at another article which is similar to this article that the user has um the user has read right so that we can base on that and make the recommendation okay but this one will give us the distance but not the similarity okay and that's when we have the cosine similarity all right that's when the cosine similarity will come in so let me get rid of this one and then uh, i'll show you how the cosine similarity works okay so we're going to consider the cosine similarity okay so um for the cosine similarity we say that we calculate 
uh, it gives us the similarity right between the two um, items okay so the cosine similarity is actually simple right so uh, what it says is that it's um it's a dot product of the of the two um so let me i mean bring the data that we're using right let me redo it over here okay so let's say this is what we have all right i'm just gonna call it x and then y okay instead of say row one and row two i'm just gonna call it x and y right and then i'm just going to divide these things so let's say we have one here like that and then let's say we have we have something like maybe two four twelve something like that okay now what cosine similarity is saying that it's a dot product between x and then y okay so you're gonna have x dot let me bring it up x dot y divided by the absolute value of x right so like that dot um the absolute value of y like that all right okay that is um let me rewrite this thing so that you know what i wrote okay x with that pipe sign over there dot y with that pipe sign over there okay that is that is the formula for the cosine similarity let me expand this one further so that you will get to understand it okay so this one is nothing but but this x y divided by summation of all x okay from c i squared okay multiplied by the summation of all y squared okay so y i squared like that so in the uh, i mean the example over here we're going to have something like um that is for the upper part for the numerator like this so i'm going to do it for the numerator and the denominator so for the numerator you're going to have something like this this multiply by that this multiply by that this multiply by that okay and then you find the summation of that so it's going to be two times one like that plus then um four times five like that plus your 12 times um two okay that's going to be the numerator and then for the denominator it's going to be um, s squared all right it's the summation of all the s squared which means that we're gonna have two squared plus four squared plus um 12 squared right so um two squared plus squared plus um four squared plus 12 squared okay this one is gonna be one then we multiply it by the y so the y is gonna be one squared plus five squared plus two squared okay one squared plus five squared plus two squared okay there's actually a root over there okay we need to find the root of that so once we are done we find the root of this right we find the root of that right okay so here we can have uh here we have something like um four right and that is two square right plus 16 and uh 12 square is something like 144 so if you add this, then we're going to have uh, 4 plus 16, which is 20, and then plus, so we're going to have 1, 4, 4, and then 20 over there, okay, which is going to give us 4, 6, 1, okay, 164, okay, 164 over there. So let me um, bring whatever that we're going to do up here, okay, so we're going to have um, the upper one is going to be, let me finish simplifying the upper one, the upper one is going to give you 2 over here, and then 20 and 24 okay which is which means that we're gonna have um and this is 20 this is 24 okay which means we're gonna have 22 plus 24 okay which is 46 okay so we're going to have 46 on the numerator and the denominator we, we're gonna have one i mean let me do this root of 160 164 right okay multiply by root of so this one will give us one squared it's going to give us one five squared is going to give us 25 and two squared is going to give us um four okay so it's more like um 25 plus five which is 30 okay something like this so um let's see how this calculation goes so this one is going to come um down to something like um 0. 0.655 something like that you can just do the simplification and then you will see right root 164 multiply by root 30 right and then 46 divided by that you can do it and you'll see you're going to go um somewhere like 0.655 right something like that oh, okay 
All right, now um, the cosine similarity value ranges from zero to one. Okay, it ranges from zero to one, and if the number that you get is closer to zero, it means that the similarity between them is very less, right? Which means the items are not that closer. Right? For instance, if someone search, um, someone search say chocolate, and then you are going to show something like butter. Okay, if they are all things that uh, you can eat, but they are not that similar. Okay, they are not that similar. So if in that case, if we calculate the cosine similarity between say chocolate and butter, you have something like maybe zero point zero one, something like very less. Okay. However, if we check something like maybe um, chocolate and another brand of chocolate, okay, one brand of chocolate or another brand of chocolate, you can have something like zero point um, five and above. Okay, so five and above, maybe zero point seven or zero point eight or something like that. Okay, in that case, you they have stronger. Uh, stronger alike or stronger relationship okay they are close very much closer to each other so if you see the value that we have over here which is 0 0.655 right which is above 0 0.5 okay so we in this case we say that the similarity between them is quite um, strong okay the similarity between x and y so if x is one brand of chocolate and uh, y is another brand of chocolate then we we will surely recommend um, y for anyone who will search for x okay that is how um, cosine similarity works all right so for each of the items that you see on amazon they calculate the cosine similarity if you search for any item they will calculate the cosine similarity of that and then recommend um the similar items to them okay so it's not like you can search for say chocolate and they will be recommending shoes okay shoe is not um the cosine similarity between chocolate and shoes will be very very less okay it will be very very less all right so that's how cosine similarity works all right i'm going to show you how you can also do it in in python or how you can use python to calculate the cosine similarity right at the lab session